do not this abominable thing that I hate. Oh, oh, that's powerful now. God said he hates something. Oh, we read in the Bible. God says, do not what? Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. God says, don't do this abominable thing that he hates. What does he hate? What does he hate? Man with man. Woman with woman. You understand that? Now, two Caucasian men, right, can black people descend from two Caucasian people? And they're men at that. They can't, right? Now, watch this. Let me show y'all. Well, let me ask you this. Then, what's your nationality? If y'all not African American or black, what's your race? Yeah, so, tell you, right? Me, all right, let me show you. You see these people right here? It says Judah all the way down to Naphtali, right? These are the 12 tribes of Israel in the Bible. We're reading the Bible, all right? Because we all believe in the Bible, correct? Now, watch this. These are God's chosen people. Let me show you something. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. Watch it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Bring it up. So God is Moses right now. He's speaking to these people. God's chosen people, right? Watch this. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses told them right here, right? If y'all don't listen to God's voice, which is the Bible, right? Go ahead. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So God said, so Moses said, look, if y'all don't listen to God's commandments this day in the wilderness, right? We know about them coming through the Red Sea, right? So this right after the Red Sea. He said, if y'all don't listen to God's voice and keep his commandments, what's going to happen? That all these curses. All these what? Curses. So is curses, y'all, is curses a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing, right? Y'all agree? So curses are bad thing, right? Now, what is this right here? Uh, let me show you. No, let's get 48 again. What is this right here? Tell me what that is. That's, that's something they put on slaves. That's something they put on slaves, right? Or our people in slavery, right? Now watch this. I want y'all to keep looking at this picture. Watch this. So, read that part again. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now, curses were going to come upon the Israelites for breaking God's commandments way thousands of years ago in the wilderness, right? Now, would y'all consider this a bad thing that happened to us? Chains on the neck? You gotta think about it, cause we got them chains on our neck, we walking through, right? And they stay on there for a long time, we gotta move and start to rust and cut our neck up, everything, right? Now, this is a bad thing that happened to us. Now, this exact history right here, is this in the Bible? Is that in the Bible, right there? Does it say that this is gonna happen to a people in the Bible? Baby, say no. What you I say? Think, I think, I think so. You think so? Cause I'm pretty sure I ain't never heard it. I ain't never heard it in church, right? Never heard it in church, right? I'm gonna show y'all that it's in the Bible. That's gonna happen to us. Verse yeah. right. forty-eight. Verse forty-eight. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies? So then we have to serve a people in slavery. But what did God call them? We believe in the Bible, right? So we gotta listen to what God says says about these people. Go ahead, read it again. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies. So, who the God kind of people that we had to serve? Enemies, right? Because with your friend, Benny, help me out. With your friend, right? And y'all friends, right? Which, would she be your friend if she took a, a yoke of iron, a chain, wrapped it around your neck, and dragged you around everywhere like a dog? She wouldn't be your friend, right? So, they're not our friends. Watch this. Hey. What's the Lord shall sit against thee? Because we may wonder why God, why this happened to us, Lord? Why this happened to us, God? Why are we the ones that are going through what we're going through right now, right? Because God sit them against us on the west coast of Africa. We know about the history in, in school, right? 
God sent them against us because we broke his commandments. Go ahead. In anger, and in thirst, and in nakedness. So in food, water, and clothing, we're going to have to serve them to get those things, right? Go ahead. Now watch this part. And in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And he, and he, the same enemy, right? That got us off the west coast of Africa and put us on them slave ships. What is he going to do? Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So the Bible says the enemies of the Israelites are going to put yokes of iron on their necks. Right, right. But hold on. In history, who did that happen to? It happened to us, right? But Moses said, Moses prophesied that's going to happen to the Israelites. So if that only happened to the Israelites, and it only happened to us in history, what does that prove who our real nationality is? He said white. white. No, man, they couldn't have been fall off the horse. God, no. Goodness gracious. No, remember, <laughs> he said I was going to have... Okay, all right, all right, all right. Just scare me, Brendan. So, remember, Moses said that's going to happen to the Israelites, right? God's chosen people. But that only happened to our people, right? So if that only happened to our people, then who are we according to the Bible? Yes, the people that got cursed, you right. What is their name, though? I just said it. The Israelites. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. So, y'all shouldn't be calling yourself African American, black, Negro, nothing like that. Y'all are the Israelites according to the Bible. You understand that? Right. Y'all are the Israelites according to the Bible. You understand that? Now, watch this. Knowing that we're Israelites, because it don't just stop there. It don't just stop there. Knowing that we're the Israelites, right? Because that black people, what, are, what is our culture as black people? Help me out. Because the culture comes with music. It comes with a uh, dress code, right? Morals and stuff like that, right? What is black or African Americans culture? Help me out. Okay, like describe it. Describe it. Yes, we got music stuff. All right, music. Let's use music. In our music, what what do we talk about? Drugs, sex, killing. Right now, watch this. Who are we talking about killing, selling drugs, or having sex with? Our own people, right? Now, do you hear any? Now, y'all help me out. Do you hear any other race talk about that? You you are rarely here, right? Right. But the majority, all our music is about that. On oh, McKinley's nigga, on oh, the FSB, stuff like that, right? Yeah. But why don't why why do our music why is our music like that? Um I mean follow leader type stuff. Follow leader type stuff? Right. So now what are we supposed to be following? Deuteronomy chapter ten verse twelve. Let's get that. Deuteronomy 10, 10 verse 12. Because when we do that, right? Because we always cry about police brutality, right? But we're the ones killing ourselves more than the police, right? So shouldn't we be speaking against that? Black on black crime? Watch this. Listen to this. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. Bring it up. And now Israel. And now Israel. That's who y'all are. Go ahead. What does the Lord thy God will cry of thee? Born to fear the Lord. Thy God to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy soul. I'm sorry, with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So you hear that, right? We got to serve God with our heart, mind, and soul, right? Now, how do we do that? Because we hear that in church. So how do you do that? How do you serve God with your heart, mind, and soul? Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Okay, okay. Okay, treat each other how we treat God. All right. Pray, follow the Bible, right? What you say? How, how, how do we serve God with our heart, minds, and souls? How do we serve God? Don't do anything bad. Don't do anything bad? Okay, I like the answers. I like the answers, right? Let's see the exact answer, though. Right? Give me that. Verse 13. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. We must keep God's commandments. That's right. Right? right. Now, we got to learn some of God's commandments. What are some of God's commandments? Celebrate. I should not kill. What else? 
All right, celibate, right? That means no fornication, right? What what you say? You already know? Your father and your mother, right? Now, watch this. Those are the Ten Commandments you mentioned, right? Now, watch this. Is rape in the Bible? Can we can we rape somebody? You can't, right? That's in the Bible, but that's not a part of the Ten Commandments, right? Now, I'm going to let y'all know. It's more than just Ten Commandments. You understand me? Now, watch this. Let me show you one. Let me show you one. Go to Romans chapter 1. No, Luke, Luke. Um, what's that? Leviticus 18. 2013. I like 2013. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Watch this. 2013. Yeah, that's the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Yep, watch this. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. Yeah. Before, before we read this, right? I know you for a long time, Brittany. What, which which sex do y'all prefer, men or women? Oh, you put that thing on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, we, we've been around each other for a long time now. Like women. women, right? What you say? Women, right? Okay, I got you, I got you. Now, let me show you something. Because remember, we're supposed to learn the commandments, right? Y'all find out y'all Israelites, right? Now, remember, I asked y'all, it's a certain culture we got to follow now. We're no longer supposed to be following black, African-American culture. We got to follow God's culture, which is the Bible. Right. All right? Watch this. If a man are so long with mankind, as he lied with a woman. So, the Bible says, if a man, right? If he lied down with what? We got to get if a man also lie with mankind. So if a man also lie down with mankind, right? A man with a man. He have sex with another man, right? Or dating another man, right? What is what is that called? Gay, right? Homosexuality, right? Read that. As he lied with a woman. As he would usually do with a woman, right? Go ahead. Both of them have committed an abomination. God says you have committed an abomination. Do, right. Now let me ask y'all, do y'all know how God feel about an abomination? An ab abominable acts. Get uh, Jeremiah 44 and 4. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Jeremiah chapter 44 verse 4. I know it's cold. I know it's cold. Watch this. Because what is what do y'all think? I'm gonna give y'all an example of an abomination. Y'all seen a dog puke, right? And then they go back and look up the puke? That's nasty, right? Disgusting. That's how God feels about abomination. Now let me show you. Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 4. Bring it up. How be it? I said unto you, all my servants, the prophets. Now, what y'all gonna have to understand, all the men in purple and gold y'all see out here, we are God's prophets. Right. You understand that? Because in the churches, they don't teach that. They don't teach the laws of God. They said the laws are done away with, right? Thus, you got black on black crime, everybody killing each other, all that, right? Now watch this. Read it again. How be it? I said unto you all, my servants, the prophets, rising early and singing them. Saying. So God sent his prophets rising early and saying, it's still early in the day, right? So he sent his prophets to do what? Saying, oh, do not this abominable thing. God says, do not do not do this abominable thing. What is one of the abominable things we just now read in Leviticus, in Old Testament? About no man with man, right? Right, man on man thing, right? Watch this. Go back to, uh, yeah, go back there. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. Bring it up. Mac, listen up, Coach Mac. If a man also lied with mankind, as he lied with a woman. So the Bible says if a man 
lie, meaning have sex with mankind, right? As he would do with a woman, because that's natural. Man with a woman, married, that's natural. But a man with man, woman with woman, that's not natural. God did not set it up that way. Right. This is good. Both of them have committed an abomination. God says they committed an abomination. Remember, God hates abomination. Go ahead. They shall surely be put to death. What's the judgment? They shall surely be put to death. You hear that? Y'all hear that? Okay. All right. So God says, all right, if man with man and woman with woman, that's an abomination. He hates it. And God says, you're surely going to be put to death. But, right, right. So, Billy, as y'all, when y'all come back, we do not want to be put to death. We don't want y'all to be put to death, right? We have to change our mindset. Because in this country, we have been taught wrong. We have been taught wrong, right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.